Hello, Holly Sniper Dual Quad fans. I'm Kevin Arifa, and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. In this and the next couple of episodes, we're going to be acquiring RAM from an Apple product. In our example, a MacBook Pro, uh, very uh, new MacBook Pro, the new 16 inch. Uh, it's running the latest version of Catalina. Now, we're not going to go through all the prep work of getting the machine ready to collect the RAM because we've done that in previous uh, episodes and as well as selecting a destination drive. So let's go straight over to the computer we're going to acquire the RAM from. We can see here that I already have my destination drive plugged in and it contains my acquisition tool. So I'm going to open that up and we see OSXP Mem. This is the only tool I'm concerned about. The rest may, uh, you know, apply to Windows machines. Uh, I am going to drag that OSXP Mem over to the desktop of the machine I'm going to collect the RAM from. And then I'm going to close that window. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do in my terminal before I do anything else is I'm going to type date. Enter. So I can get the date and time that I have started this process. The Apple products don't have a BIOS like we're used to, so we have to get the date and time from somewhere. Once I have that in, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip that OSXP mem that's uh, on my desktop. And you can see that little blink. That means that I'm in the wrong directory. So let's change directory to my desktop. And now I'm going to unzip OSXP mem dot zip. We see that it unzipped and we can even see on the desktop it created osxpmem.app. The next thing that I have to do is I have to take permission of this. I have to change the permissions on the software. So I'm going to go chown tac capital R root. I'm changing the ownership of the root and the wheel for osxpmem.app. And we can see a few things went by and it said operation not permitted. Huh. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, guess what? We didn't have the privilege that we needed to do this. So I've got to change privilege to root. Pseudo SU. It's going to ask for the password of the computer that I am on. I've got the password right, it's going to give me a shell command line where I can run my instruction again. And we can see that it just went back to another command line, so now I have been able to change that ownership. We're out of time. We'll continue this in the next episode, but in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.